Welcome to part 24 of Jedi Fallen Order. Thank you for helping me with Malakos. Thought I was a goner for a minute. Yes, you would have died. Right. <laughs> I am glad you didn't. It is nice to have an ally. Yeah, I like the sound of that. You're welcome, Cal. Let's find this Astrium. Cal defeated Malakos, or rather, Mirren here defeated Malakos, and Cal is taking credit because, of course, he does. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get this Astrium once and for all. Whatever that is. This place, it's... Finally found it. Yeah. It is real. Marin, this could be the key to the next generation of Jedi. I'm happy for you and your Jedi. But nothing can bring back my people. After the purge, I was alone for a, a long time. In hiding, I was, I was scared that they'd find out who I was or what I was. What changed? A very good friend of mine told me to go out and find my place in the galaxy. And you listen? Well, no. Life has this funny way of forcing you on the path forward anyway. Now here I am. Or at least expected. A path forward. I will join you. You will? I've spent years waiting for a chance to avenge my sisters. I'm finished waiting. I wish to fight by your side. Night Sisters and Jedi do not travel together, but survivors, we adapt. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we do. What do you think, BD? I agree. My crew, they might take a little bit of convincing, though. Then we'll convince them. <laughs> Looks like we got a new party member. In the second to last episode of the damn game. Well, there's always the sequel. I'm definitely looking forward to playing Jedi Survivor. Survivor is such a good game. No way forward. There is now. Did you raise the ones before, too? I did. I wanted to see how you would handle Malikos. You were testing me? And your power? Congratulations. Are you gonna help me with this? I'm sure you can handle it. I don't know. These Night Axe are kind of rough, and they seem tougher than the other Night Axe for some reason. If I could throw one of these guys off a ledge, I would greatly appreciate that. But no, I can't. Gonna have to play the stick and move game. Oh, fuck you too, buddy. Dude, this sucks. I was not trained to take on two bargain basement rank horse at the same time. But then again, is any Jedi really trained to take on a rank horse? I mean, Luke probably would have died if he hadn't have thought outside the box with the bone, so yeah. And Starkiller is. <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna count Starkiller. He's too damn overpowered for his own good. And I'm stuck in a court. Fuck. Okay, that was close. I don't even know how I'm still alive here. 
Maybe Cal's the overpowered one here. Right here buddy. Good thing Buddy Boy's dead over there. I can deal with this thing more efficiently now. At least there's an insta kill ability if you block the creature enough. Oh, it's this animation. And it's missing Marin. <laughs> that move comes back. There's a whole bunch of different animations that come back in Jedi Survivor. And then some. This woman you travel with. Who is she? See her? Wait, how do you know about her? I have seen your companions. Marikos wanted me to attack them, but they pose no threat. See her, um... Well, she used to be a Jedi. It's a long story. I would like to... I mean, there's going to be plenty of time on the Mantis to learn about the story. I'll meet you at your ship. You found it. Oh, well, who's this? What's that supposed to mean? It means I'll be joining you. Seer, Grease, this is Marin. She's a witch, isn't she? A night sister. Your fear is unnecessary. I couldn't have gotten the Astrium without her. We fought Malakos together. I trust her. And we trust you. You will have to earn it. Maybe fine. Grab some seat. Sorry. Don't try anything funny. Welcome aboard. They like you. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, quit flirting with the new girl, BD. Anyway, it's high time we make it back to Bogano to... There's the Bogling. <laughs> time to go. The Bogling returned. Hate sitting around Speaking like of Bogano, time to finish things up. always wanted to explore the whole galaxy. And did you? We explored many planets. Tombs and temples related to the Zepho and Jedi. But I hit a limit. To him, there was no limit. The poor crazy old guy was left alone. He was always alone, even when I was with him. He cared about his work, anything else. He didn't have the time. He was always on the move. Magana was the first place I ever saw that looked like he settled. Even for a brief moment. Sit down, kid. It's time to land. You think it'll work? It worked for Cordova. You can make it work. She's right. Oh, hey, is anybody hungry? I, I was thinking of whipping up some sky steaks. I'm sorry, am I interrupting? No, Captain. And we couldn't have gotten this far without you. Oh, <laughs> well, it's... it's true, Grease. Thank you. Hey, I hope you get in there and you find that hollow thing. Holocron. Are you sure it's something you should find? What do you mean? The children on that list. If you take them from their homes to train as Jedi, won't they be hunted like you? It has to be kept out of the hands of the Empire. It'll help us put an end to the Empire. Oh, hey, uh, change of plans, we're arriving. Oh, Grease. Yeah. I take my steak rare. Huh? huh? Okay, now we're cooking. Wait up! I know you're about to get that hollow cron. Nice. You remembered. You joining me? Oh, no, no, absolutely not. No, I just wanted to say, you know, those... those kids we're supposed to find. They're lucky to have you. They're lucky to have us. We're in this together, Grease. 
I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hoping you'd say that, because, you know, they're gonna need more than fancy magic tricks. Oh, uh, yeah? Practical guidance, role model, someone to look up to. You know, ship flying's a complicated art. But that's only if I stick around. I remember that. Good. Good. Okay. Good luck, buddy. There's something weird about this place. The energy is different here. Yeah, it's different than Dathomir. Yes. Dathomir is intricate. Its ancient power emanates from the shadows. Bogano feels more simplistic, and yet... I can't figure it out. Bogano is special. There's a reason the Zeppo built their vault here. Where your holocron waits. Hidden. What are you getting at? This planet has remained nearly untouched for centuries. Were the lives you seek to protect really in danger before you intervened? Cal, got a second? You've been through a lot to get here. But the vault is still an unknown. Cordova put the holocron inside. That's what's important. I have to get it. Cordova built danger into this test to protect it. You're worried about me. I don't want to train all those younglings alone. I'll be fine, Seer. Plus, I've got BD with me. I know. Just be careful. This might be unlike anything you two have faced before. Thanks. We're ready. The both of us. Take care of each other. Aaron just brought up a good point. The children on the list, they'll probably be in more danger if Cal finds them. I'm sensing something weird. This is gonna sound strange, but I think it's the Astrium. The closer we get to the vault, the stronger it feels. <laughs> Careful, buddy. We still don't know how this thing works. So, Cal, what's your ultimate goal here? Train the Jedi so that they get hunted? Or leave them be and they'll be 99% safe? Hmm, good questions this game raises up. Time to enter Wonderland. I offer this record of our civilization to those who will follow. Despite our wisdom and technological achievement, we face extinction. Dogma blinded us to the path of balance, and gradually we allowed our pride to corrupt us. The greater control we sought, the further we fell into ruin. I lead the remnants of my people into the great unknown, hoping that we will finally find peace. I shall teach them the ways of the Force. Master Kestis. We shall begin with physical preparation. Worse. Gather round, everyone. Master Kestis, do you think the Empire will find us? Oh, well, it looks like the game is about to answer my question. And one of these younglings clearly looks like Greedo. Help me, 
Master Kestis! Moving in. Spread out. There will be others. Yes, sir. You can't hide. Got you. Surrender now, and we may spare the youngest. That's right. On your knees. That was a weird dream. But one thing's for sure is that Cow will make a terrible master. I had a bad feeling I'd see you here. Oh? How uncharacteristically prescient of you. Here I thought your greatest virtue was your dogged persistence as you stumbled from one debacle to the next. Guess you made a mistake not killing me on Brockett then. A scant mercy. I wagered one meaningless Padawan against a prize that will win me the Emperor's favor. You think I'm gonna let you walk away with the Holocron? Of course not. We both have our pride. But yours has cost you the lives of all the Force-sensitive children on that list, as well as your own. Like you said, Trilla, I'm persistent. Trilla round three, except this time she's on the back foot. I don't think it's even possible to lose to Trilla in this third fight unless you're screwing around or just purposefully losing. Vietnam flashbacks at the worst time. Don't go. We need to stick together. No. I'm going to lure them away, and then I'm going to circle back. Stay with the young ladies, Trilla. May the force be with you. Master! Don't leave us! Trilla? What's going to happen? It's okay. It's okay.
great. The Empire's here and Cal is missing the Holocron. Can things get any worse? Oh wait, this is Star Wars. Of course they get worse. But like I said, the Empire's here and you can fight all of them if you so choose or you could just skip past the Imperial units like I'm about to do. Oh yeah, and Agdo Bagdo's here, but he's actually being a help to me by being a nuisance to the Empire. <laughs> okay, that's kind of unrealistic. I'm shooting him in the back, but he's still blocking. That's how overpowered blocking is. But the reason why I'm skipping the Empire now is because in the next part, the final episode, it's going to be one big brawl fest. I think I leveled up a couple times off screen just so I can get more useful abilities. I can finally claim ownership over this red chest. It's about damn time. Let's see what we can get. What is it, BD? Lightsaber material is corundum. At least I think it says corundum. I can't really see because of the light of the text against the sky as well as the fine print of the text too. It's so small. Returning to Bogano is still not that dangerous. The only Imperial units here are scout and stormtroopers. Maybe the occasional purge trooper, but nothing's too serious. Get in there, buddy. Have fun in there. Adversary Just collected another lightsaber sleeve, which I'm probably never going to use. The Empire really should have used backup here. But we're getting closer to the Mantis. Cal knows the truth about Seer and Trilla, and things are about to heat up. Uh, again. It seems like things are always heating up. Seer. I saw what happened between you and Trilla, what you both went through. I'm so sorry. I was arrogant, I was foolish. I could never understand what you went through. She has a holocron. I don't know where she's taking it. I'm responsible for the path that Trilla is on. And what she does next is the cost of all of my mistakes. Our mistakes are in the past. And it's all of our responsibility, and it's about what we do next that's important. You taught me that, Seer. You're right. I know where she's taking it. There's a fortress where they take Jedi, where the Inquisitors come from. It's a place of torture. It's the place I escaped. I just never thought I'd be going back there. You won't be going alone. I'll have a friend with you. No. I'll have a Jedi with me. Neil. By the right of the Council, by the will of the Force, Cal Kestis. 
Rise, Jedi Knight. You are ready. So are you. Ah, <laughs> Cow is no longer a Padawan, for he is the Jedi Knight. The last Jedi Knight. Anyway, stay tuned for the final part where we go to Fortress Inquisitorius. <laughs>